Okay, this will be an interesting one. We'll see if we can make it look really nice. Right. Wondering how big we're gonna make this one. So we're going 300 by 300. Wondering what the contrast is gonna be. It's gonna remain at default. I'm gonna lighten this up a fair bit, but not too much. Right, let's see how we go with this one. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got here Clive Cuzler, the navigator. I'm not going to read this, I'm just using this, the picture on the front, as a demo piece. I do that a lot, I buy things particularly from a second-hand shop, but also I do buy a lot of new things as well when necessary. So we're just going to line that up against the edge. Just uh, make sure it sits nice against, straight against the edge, just like so. So now we're just going to photocopy the picture. Oh, I thought something funny happened to my camera. I thought it stopped recording or something. Sorry, folks. You didn't, see, you didn't see that. Maybe it was the flash of the light. Maybe the light sort of made things look a bit funny. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. Yeah, it looks nice, but we've got too much of the writing. We don't want the writing, and we want... I don't know how that happened. I've got it up. I've got... It I've got to enlarge it bigger, I think, along the bottom. And I think we've got to make... I've got to move it down a bit. I think we've got it too far up. I'm trying to see just where the writing is on this original. We're just going to... You look through the... I'm not looking through the camera when I'm... I wasn't looking through the camera just then. So I just have to do it with my own eyes sometimes. So let's see how that goes. See if we've made this better. We didn't, we put it too far up, too far down, should I, oh, whatever, I don't know, we'll see, we'll soon find out. I think I put it too far down, and that's why we, we got the text, um, some of the text, and the image looked like it was cut off, but that looks a lot better now. Um, we can enlarge it a little uh, to get rid of what's left of the text. Uh, Wondering, because we're doing it upside down, folks. So we're just going to have another look at the text. We just got the text just above. So we're just going to slide that further down. We're just going to make sure we don't get the text ruining our composition. So I'm just straightening that up nicely. And we're just going to... Try another one and see how much enlargement we're going to need since we've made it go down as far as possible. A little bit tricky, folks, but it's looking good so far. It's probably going to be still some text. Yeah, there is still text on there, but it's looking a lot better now. I think we might be able to simply enlarge the remainder of that text off the page. Uh... I don't want to go too far down, otherwise I'll end up, or too far up, otherwise I'll get, was it up or down? Down. I don't want to go too far down. So now the vertical is going to receive an extra dollop of enlargement, so to speak. So it's going to be 300 and, we're going to make it 310. That should hopefully be enough. Slightly distorted, but you won't notice it, I don't think, with this kind of, just a slight amount. Let's see if we've made it look good. We still have a little bit of text just skimming across there. 
so we're just going to enlarge it a little bit bigger once again so we're going to just perhaps make it going to make it 315 I think an extra 5% should do the job so here we go again yeah I don't typically read as a general rule uh, I don't have time to read folks um, but I can probably give these books away uh, now there's a little bit of the text you can just make it out there but we're not going to fuss or maybe we can wondering if we're going to just take that up a bit higher or we're just going to we're just trying to decide intuitively folks to see if I've if it's right we're not going to go any higher with this enlargement we're just going to keep it at that it's only a slight bit showing it's not much you won't notice it it's not terribly noticeable that little bit of mark there so now we're just going to line this up as a to get ready as a mirror image so we've got these two images here and that's going to be i'm pretty sure that's going to be the center of our job so we just line that up and we're just going to print off the mirrored versions of this but i think we've done really well with this image overall i think i've done my job really well generally speaking it's not perfect but nothing's in this broken world is perfect and this stupid user interface drives me nuts it's a bloody stupid dumbass I really hate it. You know, you can strive for excellence, folks, but you don't, you know you're striving for, for perfection, but you can strive for excellence at what you're good at. Give yourself a pat on the back if you get 98% out of 100. You're not likely to get 100 out of 100 in this life. So... There is no one who gets 100 out of 100 in this life. No one's perfect, folks. There's no such thing as perfection in this world, but we can always strive to be our best, to be, to um, strive for excellence. And my future goal of excellence is to redesign the photocopier. So I see a problem with today's copier systems, like the one you saw me using, and I basically have ideas on how to solve problems uh with them so i've got a future in the, in the in the world of photocopiers and that's my contribution to excellence and doing this photocopier art is a contribution so that looks really nice i think now we can call this demo quits